Invictus, the hit series, returned last night to ITV with its uh, full quota of medical mishaps and life or death drama. But just how real is it all? To find out if the stars really know their stethoscopes from their thermometers, we sent our own Dr. Hilary Jones behind the scenes. I'm in this quiet and picturesque village in Derbyshire on what must be one of the coldest days of the year so far. Ask any of the film crew working over there behind me on the current series of Peak Practice just how freezing it is, and I'll certainly be able to tell you. Now, fans of the series will recognise the beaches, the place where the surgery is set in this fictional village of Cardale. Now, I'm here on a kind of exploratory operation to find out just how they make everything look so realistic. I actually don't wear them. I'm actually Are you filming at the moment? Bye. God. <laughs> it works. Good morning. Ah, now, have you got an appointment? We're rather fully booked. Oh, I was hoping you'd put me down as an extra this morning. <laughs> I'd like to see that nice Dr. Erica. Oh, yes, she's definitely the nicest. Yes. Now, Saskia, you play Dr. Erica Matthews. I do, yes. And uh, tell me about this building. You've still got well, your coat on. I've still got my coat on. There is, it's, it's absolutely freezing. And when it's shown on the programme, it looks all Did snug and cosy. But in fact, it is. Now, this is your appointment book. This is the appointment book, very professional. Dorothy Perkins has an appointment here <laughs> for later on. And okay. these are our very professional notes. The original here Lloyd George envelope. In our lovely reception area. And um, I think now I will take you and show you to my room. How nice. Well, what did she say? I can't discuss it, you know that. Oh, I see. Good old patience, right, eh? So when exactly do my rights kick in? This is my very, very spacious consulting room, which is very full of people at the moment because we're just setting up for shots. So. Yes, it's not very confidential, my is it? My co-counsel, I believe so. <laughs> and this is Yvonne, who is sitting here so they can light me, so I can go in and actually have a cup of coffee while they want it there. So now I'm going to do a little test right. to see if Dr. Jones really does know his stuff. Can you tell me what Largactil is? That's for schizophrenia. Ooh, it's a good. sedative for That's schizophrenics. For that. And thyroxin? That's for anybody with an underactive thyroid. You oh. see, you can't catch me up. No, I can't, can I? Would you like a job? No, I would. <laughs> Can you do my locum next week? <laughs> Could you do my acting? <laughs> no. I am very sorry, Mr. Barrettoff. It appears I did misdiagnose your condition. It is indeed more serious than we thought. You wouldn't be told, would you? But you haven't got an ulcer. What? No, it appears your problem is a little lower down, Mr. Barata. Your consultant tells me you've got a kidney stone. Now, clinical accuracy is vital on a medical series like Peak Practice, and the two medical advisors here are Dr. Tim Parkin, a local GP, and Helen Holmes is a registered general nurse. Tim, what's your job here? Um, my basic role is behind the scenes, more or less. It's uh, liaising with the, uh, the script writers and editors to ensure accuracy and um, realism as far as the, uh, the scripts are concerned. Making sure that it could actually happen. And what about you, Helen? My job's on set to help the artists so that it appears that they're carrying out the medical procedures correctly and that the correct equipment is being used. Now here we are, we're in the makeup unit and what do we have here? Frothing blood capsules, non-stain imitation blood and uh, artificial skin. Let's meet Carol Cooper who's the makeup designer. Hello. What's the most challenging makeup you've ever had to do? Well, involving this stuff recently, we had a big burn to do on somebody's back, and um, we tend to heat this stuff up and paint it on the skin, and then it looked fairly gruesome. Uh, this is clinically significant. Mm. Oh, serious. It's terminal. Luckily, none of these doctors are medically qualified. No, no we were talking about your acting. acting. 